Hi guys, welcome to the next part of Node Express MongoDB Bootcamp 2023. So in the last part, we actually uses this FS package, which is the built-in module provided by Node. In this part, I'll just be talking about that how we can create our own custom module if we want to create inside our Node application. There might be a chance that you have a requirement that is not meeting by any given node module which is already registered in the node documentation and you want to add some new functionality add some new formulas uh, and you have built your own algorithm so you must be able to create your own custom package that you can require and utilize it in your code so let's now i'm going to create a new folder i want to make a separate thing so custom module and inside it i'm going to create index.js file so before writing code inside this file let me create another file and that will be the file of my new custom module so i'm just going to uh, create uh, name it new module.js okay so inside it i can write anything in the form of object so first of all i can create a module equals to and this is an object right and inside it i can write down any keys like the id one name umer phone anything and in the last video we talked about that fs package and fs package was giving us a lot of functions so just like the read file write file read file saying read directory and a lot of other functions we can also export different functions from this so in order to export the function we need to give it a name like a full name just an example and we can give it a function so whenever we'll utilize this key it will call a function so then it's going to return this dot name and I can append it with my last name, which is Mirza, right? And uh, we can add a semicolon after that. So just for learning purpose, that's pretty much it. And after that, I can return module.exports and then module, right? Uh, actually this is the keyword we cannot name it module so for now just give it a name obj which is the object right so let's save it and now let's come to this index.js file and here i'll be requiring that module that i have just created okay so i'm requiring it and i'm giving it a path new module we don't need to give it extension to this file and now i can write down data dot anything you can see that it is giving me all the functions all the keys that i have provided in that module so let's write id and data dot name data dot phone so let's try this out if it works well so in the terminal let me go out of the previous folder and let me come inside the custom module folder and inside it i'm going to write node space index.js all right guys so you can see that we have created our own custom modules it's just a small module we can create our own custom modules with thousands of lines all the complex algorithms that you have just discovered right so uh, this is how we can create a new module now let's try to access this function whether it works fine or not so it should return omer mirza because i have written down to it right and we can write console dot log and then data dot full name okay and if i run it you can see that it has printed umair mirza there has to be a space so we can add a space before mirza right so this is how you can create a custom module if we want to pass some kind of variables to it so let's say that i want to pass a last name to it right so and rather than adding the mirza after that let me add a space and then append it with the last name okay 
and this is how I can pass the variable to it and while calling this function full name we can send a Mirza from here just like the FS module was giving us uh, to actually pass the file name and then the type and then the callback function and these things now if I run it you can see that it has printed Umair Mirza and in this case we can actually pass the params or values from this function to this new module and from here it is returning me this uh, full name right guys so i won't be give going further into detail it's up to you if you have new requirement new algorithm that is not already added in any given predefined node packages you can see that node have a lot of packages over here if something is missing uh, over here or any third party package not that node provide you can create your own custom modules Right guys, so for this video that's pretty much it. In the next video we will be talking about the command line arguments, how you can pass the command line arguments when we run over node space index.js file. So for now that's pretty much it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.